scrolling through social media or reading your favorite magazines, or websites will expose you to a lot of nutritional information on nutrition and health that can drive you crazy, not knowing if that is a fact or a myth. Let's check it out. Vegetarian meals or rather plant-based meals are gaining popularity, therefore many questions like is it really healthy? Or does it provide all the nutrition? Let's find out. Myth 1 colon vegans and vegetarian doesn't get enough protein. This is by far the most common myth that has to be understood. The idea that protein comes only from animal source is not true as you will be surprised that most of the plant-based diet will also provide the necessary protein for optimal health. There are many plant-based sources of protein that is versatile like legumes, soy products, whole grains, nuts and seeds. The only catch here is vegans should consume more plant protein than the meat eaters, which is because of their poor digestibility as they are encased in a plant wall which is hard to be broken into and digested by the human body. Spreading your intake throughout the day will give you the protein that you need. Myth 2, you do not get enough calcium to build strong bones, if you don't drink milk. It must be remembered that calcium is necessary not only to build stronger bones, but for other body functions like blood pressure maintenance, for muscle reflex, and also for blood clotting. However dairy is not the only source of calcium. If you are a vegan and don't consume milk, then you can go for dark green leafy vegetables, calcium fortified tofu and soya milk, beans, lentils, sesame seeds, some nuts like almonds too. Some vegetables may have high oxalates that might hinder the absorption of calcium, therefore try to include other green leafy vegetables in your meal. In addition try including calcium fortified drinks and food, weight bearing exercises, yoga, walking and strength training are some of the ways to boost your muscle strength. Myth 3, just because the food is vegetarian, does it mean that it is healthy? No. Just because the food is vegetarian it does not necessarily means it's healthy because, it could be highly processed, or high in added sugar and salt. Always read the labels to ensure that the vegetarian food is low in saturated fats, added salt and sugar. These are the key pointers to decide if the food is healthy or not by reading labels. When the term vegan or plant-based diet, it emphasizes on loading your plate with lots of fresh vegetables, whole grains, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Myth 4, Carbs are fattening. Several studies have shown that intake of whole grains are associated with reduced risk of weight gain. While many studies have shown that low-carb diet does promote weight loss, though only for a short term while an individual meal plan with a balanced diet also promote weight loss which depends on the calories rather than the emphasis on the macronutrient. So reduced caloric diet produces more meaningful weight loss rather than completely avoiding carbs. Myth 5 colon organic food are more nutritious than the non-organic food. Organic. Non-organic. No. Both organic and non-organic food are healthy and safe and they have the same nutritional value. The only difference is the farming methods, usage of pesticides and the processing methods which has a strict regulation in organic food. The non-organic food can be safe as long as it washed well before use. Myth 6 colon avoid sugar, including fruits. Avoiding sugar is the new rage. But there is a difference between the natural sugar in the fruits and vegetables when compared to added sugar. The natural sugar in fruits and vegetables comes with the fiber and slows the absorption of these natural sugars. They are also rich in vitamins, minerals and phytonutrients. Cut down on added sugars rather than natural sugars as these processed food with added sugars are high in calories and low in nutrients. Many misunderstand the presence of sugar in the fruits as carbs and avoid it claiming it to be high in calories which may be true, but they are with fiber as a cellular structure of fruits and its consumption have never raised the fructose that will hit the liver nor glucose that would cause a surge in insulin. Natural sugars are not sugar is another myth because they act in the same way as sugar does, the only positive side is sugars like honey, and maple syrup are slightly high in antioxidants, otherwise our body metabolizes them in the same way as added sugar. Myth 7 colon late night snacks will make you gain weight. High calorie snacks. While late night snacking can cause weight gain, it is not because of the time on the clock, rather depends on what and how much we eat. Most of the time snacks that act as comfort foods are usually high in calories and fat which is common. Again snacking while watching TV or browsing will lead to mindless eating and thereby high calorie consumption. Myth 8 The only way to reduce sodium is stop using the salt shaker. The problem does not lie with the salt shaker but on the processed, ready to eat food and restaurant food. To reduce salt intake consume fresh home cooked food and limit processed food, which includes sauces, pickles and salted food. Myth 9 colon to stay healthy, you need vitamins and supplements. No. 
Vitamins and supplements can't replace the benefits from your healthy food and nutrients such as carbohydrates, protein, fats and fiber. We can get sufficient minerals and vitamins from a well-balanced meal taken on a daily basis. However for specific conditions and situations, there may be the need for supplements. Talk to your doctor or dietitian about the need of supplements. Scrolling through social media or reading your favorite magazines, or websites will expose you to a lot of nutritional information on nutrition and health that can drive you crazy, not knowing if that is a fact or a myth. Let's check it out. Vegetarian meals or rather plant-based meals are gaining popularity, therefore many questions like is it really healthy? Or does it provide all the nutrition? Let's find out. Myth 1 colon vegans and vegetarian doesn't get enough protein. This is by far the most common myth that has to be understood. The idea that protein comes only...